what's going on guys it's your boy andy matrix so 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 uh do you guys remember that hit piece it was last year exactly around december january when this happened so that one hit piece that vice you remember vice news on manga it says inside the p philic world of manga industry in japan and guess what it won an award <laughs> the reporter of this hit piece on manga won an award i mean it's crazy it's absolutely crazy right and it's funny because this has it has a what like uh, eight hundred fifty thousand views and it's got i mean it was ratio to heck like it has 19,000 likes but fi about 50,000 dislikes right and what do you know miss hanako montgomery the lady who did the hit piece on manga right she won an award <laughs> she won an award right it says back in japan now and i am finally processing that we won an, an emmy it took months of, of reporting that this tireless efforts of wonder, wonderful work and the faith of our interview is in the story to come together from the bottom of, of my heart. Yeah, so she is the one that worked on this. You know, she's the, she's the one who did all these, these interviews on manga, right? Yeah, she did all these interviews, uh, you know, in Japan about the manga industry selectively. And I say selectively, selectively, selectively choosing certain manga and choosing certain manga artists to make her story seem as as it is true right so it, it was a setup the whole thing was a setup i mean look at it she, she's selecting certain manga artists and she's selecting certain certain people to interview to make the manga industry look bad you know and, and she's doing this intentionally she walks into a manga right a manga uh store and just goes like who the heck goes to a to, to, to a manga store and goes directly to the to the hentai <laughs> who does that i don't go to barnes and nobles and or, or or the video section go directly to the to the you know adult section she's doing this selectively and on purpose okay and that's why everybody does nobody likes this lady everybody in the manga industry hates this lady you know, if she won an award, she got rewarded. And I think one of the reasons why she got rewarded is because, you know, here in the West, you know, the, the, the powers at B, the leaders in the West, the people in charge, whatever you want to call them, you know, the, the deep state, whatever you want to call them, they are, they are intentionally attacking anime and manga, right? Because... I mean, if you look at the American comic book industry, American entertainment is going down the drain. So they had to bring in, they had to bring in people that things that that I, that people, entertainment that people actually want, like manga and anime. That's the only thing that's doing well, right? So it's absolute jealousy. It's absolute just you know just hating on, on anime and manga, right? And this story came to me via Niche Gamer. Says Vice News documentary that slander anime and manga wins wins uh, an Emmy. So here it says the purpose of the video was to analyze Japan's manga industry, but it inevitably ended up calling the industry child abuse due to the abundance of young anime characters that are often put in adult situations, even though they are fictional. <laughs> the video was also blacklisted in Japan. Yeah, you don't want the Japanese to see that now, do you? It says which stop Japanese users from viewing the video and pre preventing them preventing them in any means of fighting back against the argument being made isn't that funny isn't that funny they they, they in again intentional this is intentional they blacklisted the video from japan therefore people in japan cannot fight against the video they they cannot they cannot uh step up in and go against the argument being made in the video against their culture this is against japanese culture of course they of course the japanese will get angry and this lady man i i know i know a lot of people like her i know a lot of people like her like people that just 
they are in it for to go up the corporate ladder and they're willing to just lie their asses up. I've met people like this. They're willing to just lie their asses up to get to the top. You know? And yeah, it says the video was uh, even partially shows the child abuse in question, which is a which is a federal crime if the content in question were actual child corn, right? Documentary even recorded inside a Japanese shop without permission and also slandered a Japanese politician. Despite all this, Vice News, by the way, the Japanese politician is Kena Kamatsu, right? Kena Kamatsu. So despite all this, Vice News has hypocritically supported actual P, actual, you know, the P word here as noted by their past articles, videos. Oh, so this, that's what this was. It says, a P file opens up about being targeted by vigilantes. It says, life hard, life's hard when you are convicted P file. It says, Daniel World examples. So they, they defend. This is why this is, this is done intentionally. They defend child abusers, right? <laughs> They defend child abusers while at the same time, you know, attacking anime and manga. Calling people who, who, who create who create that type of entertainment, you know, also P files. But then then they go ahead and, and, and defend P files previously. This is most most child X abusers are not P files experts. So again, they've done hit pieces defending these types of, you know, crazy people, these, these types of abusers. But when it, but if it's manga, if it's, oh yeah, yeah, let's attack manga. Let's attack the Japanese. Total hypocrisy. Absolute total hypocrisy. Absolute, absolute, total hypocrisy, man. Uh, and, and, and they were rewarded. These are the times that we're living in. Like people that do this kind of stuff, that, that you know, that they work for, let's say, you know, you know, the 1% that run everything, they get rewarded for doing these types of, you know, these types of crimes. She's done some illegal stuff in Japan, guys. But hey, what can we do except, you know, bring, you know, bring, bring the light, you know, tell the truth. That's all we can do. Tell the truth. Tell everybody what's actually going on. And hopefully these a-holes, you know, they... They remove themselves from the media. Now, unfortunately, this is Vice, right? This story, this story came from Vice, and I, at some point, we thought that Vice was gonna go bankrupt. But then, uh, somebody from the elites, somebody up there from the elites, like I keep saying, from the deep state, they actually bailed. They bailed Vice from going bankrupt. So they actually gave money to Vice to prevent them from going bankrupt. You know, and I'm not going to say who it is, his, uh, you know, but these are the times that we're living in. Anyways, guys, um, I don't know what else to say, except this lady is a total freaking a-hole. Uh, whatever your thoughts are, comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button for future notifications. It's your boy, Animatrix. Godspeed. Thank you.